Donald Trump seems committed to exposing you to COVID-19. Um, this in pursuit of his herd immunity theory, which even Sweden has now disavowed. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Trump, Trump is so committed to pretending that this coronavirus isn't a thing, it's not real, right? It's just a hoax. It's, it, it ain't real, go back to work. Because he's so desperate to win re-election, because if he doesn't get re-elected, he probably goes to jail. And, or at the very least, he gets outed as a fraud and his whole, his whole criminal empire is, the, you know, the whole Trump crime family collapses. Although I'm guessing that the Kushners, um, you know, <laughs> grifters that they are, you know, Jared's dad went to prison for being a grifter, uh, that the, they've already squirreled away hundreds of millions of dollars that they've, you know, taken out of the Trump companies and out of the various grifts that these guys have run. But he's so committed to getting Americans to go out and expose themselves to the coronavirus on the assumption that it's not going to impact the economy, that the number of people getting sick is not going to be that big a deal, that the red states will be able to cover it up. You got Ron DeSantis down in Florida hiding numbers. You got Nebraska and Iowa now hiding numbers. The governors are kind of officially say, you know, we're, we're not going to tell you how many people are dying or how many people are sick. Um, this is probably happening in pretty much every red state where we're going to see an explosion. He's so committed to this grift that he's having lunch with an afternoon meeting with a bunch of Republican senators. And the White House announced early this morning, and this has just gone viral on the Internet, on Twitter, the buffet will open early at noon. Now, one of the things that the CDC says restaurants must not do when they reopen is have buffets. Why? Because you don't want people breathing on the food, because now we know just a simple exhalation through your nose can carry these little particles of virus. Not to mention it gets on your hands, and then you take your, you, know, you use your hands to, to grab the tongs to put the salad or the, the, the green beans or the potato salad or, or whatever it may be on your plate. And then you set the tongs down and the next person comes along and picks them up, and now that person's got coronavirus on their hands, and then they sit down and they touch their face and boom, off to the races. So what is Donald Trump doing in the White House today for the Republican Senate? He's opening a buffet, of course. This, you know, it's, it's almost funny.